Look who's looking. Go ahead and introduce. Hi, that's Simba. He's in a food coma because he had two breakfasts and lunch already, and he's in his self-warming bed, and he looks very sleepy. <laughs> but he came out to see Glenda when she got here. Later on, hopefully, he'll come out and she can feel how soft he is. And he smelled my toes. He did. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, pretty boy. You're the star of my YouTube channel. Simba. Simba yes, you Looney. are. Call him Simbalini, Simbaloony, Goofy, Sim. I call him mostly Sim. I just can't say the buh. Sim, that's one syllable is yeah. easy. Oh, oh look. They, he does that a lot. Got to stretch. Months. He yeah. sticks my arm over the edge of that bed all the time. I don't know what that is. It's like a cat, a cat, weird cat thing. Simba, you're being I ready. sleep like that. I sleep with my arm over my pillow. I mean, so you understand him more than mm -hmm. I do. You are so sleepy. Hey, pretty boy. Are you sleepy? <laughs> you are so sleepy. He used to do that. He just passes out. You are sleepy boy. His mama ate a lot of food. Leave me alone. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Okay, so I want all of y'all to meet Susan. Hi. You remember me from lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that was what, almost a year Jan ago? Wasn't it January of this year? It was a long time ago. Yeah. I'll have to look for the video it was and January. see. So Susan invited me to her home today, and we're going to have lunch, but she wants to show you around her home. I know many of y'all already know her because you communicate with her through um, comments. So. Well, you could, why don't we start with the Freddy wall? The Freddy wall, okay. This is my Freddy Mercury wall, one of them. Um, Freddy was an amazing performer and very sexy. So, wow, look at that costume. A bolero, isn't that a cool bolero jacket? Uh -huh. And then I have the picture of him as in, in his iconic pose, and I got a light up thing to go with it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, yes, it, it is a matching. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. That was, that's he was an amazing man. And right performer. there is a statue of him, a copy of the statue of the t of him in Montreux, Switzerland, in the same pose, of course. And oh, okay. Simba's collar's on there because I put it on him once, and he he started acting like a bucking bronco, and I had to take it right <laughs> off. So that was a short-lived collar experiment. <laughs> So is that him when he was younger? Yeah, that's young Freddie. Oh, I've never seen him in his younger days. He, that was the age of those weird, like, Prince Valiant haircuts. Oh. Remember that? I mean, I just well, love the way he's leaning against the wall, though. What year was he born? Uh, 1946. Same oh. as my brother. Mm -hmm. And he died in 1991. Mm -hmm. What does that say? When I'm dead, I want to be remembered as a musician of some worth and substance. Oh, well, and he is. <laughs> yes, he, he made it. Do you know where those No, he, were taken? there were so many concerts, I don't remember oh, okay. Okay. what outfits go with what color. <laughs> he re-wore things, too. Wow, that's an amazing one there. Yeah. That's going to talk someday. I'm telling, mm -hmm. I told Glenda when it does, I'm going to check myself into some psychiatric facility. It really looks like he's going to say something. I like that stare. He's, he's looking you right in the eye. He is. It's, a, it's amazing. It's from Elephant Stock. I have a lot of Elephant Stock stuff on the wall, so if anybody... Go on Elephant Stock. You probably see a lot of commercials on Glenda's channel for it. They make amazing stuff. Oh, okay. So that was the one panel. Okay. If I had a bigger house, I would have gotten an eight panel. That I one's neat. Them, my soul has painted. So my soul has painted like the wings of butterflies. Fairy tales of yesterday will grow but never die. I can fly, my friends. Freddie Mercury. And he did. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. And that's Simba's carrier, which he never wants to see again. Oh, yeah, ever. yeah. <laughs> that was and this is his uh, one of infinity? His towers, oh, yes. One of his towers, okay. The bottom level, he plays with his cactus. The middle level, he chases his tail. And the middle level, for some reason, he thinks his tail is an enemy that's trying to get him. 
So yesterday he caught it and bit it and then looked at me like, wow, that hurt, Mom. <laughs> and then he sits on the top and poses and looks for the squirrels and birds and wildlife that don't show yeah. up. Now, is that what you call the infinity? That's it. So this is the famous fruit bowl that Simba sleeps in. I had company one day, and I, they left, and I folded up the placemats and put them in the fruit bowl because I was too lazy to put them away. And ten minutes later, I turn around, and he's sleeping in the fruit bowl. It's very <laughs> thick. It's, see how thick it is? Guess, so he, uh -huh. he's safe. I wouldn't mm -hmm. let him go in it if he wasn't safe. But that's his nighttime sleeping place <laughs> because he's cute and goofy. And when this gets all crunched up, I have to come and fix it because or else he gets in and he's doing, I'm making all these noises and the bowl's rattling. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, let me fix it for you. And then he gets oh. out and I straighten it out and he kind of gets back in. He's very particular oh. about his um, placemats. Oh, here's some more. More Freddy. Freddy. Wow, look at that in that checkered yeah. jumpsuit. My, as my niece texted me, nice butt. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Hey, pretty boy. Hey, you giving yourself a bath? Simba, huh? what you doing, Sim? Oh, he said, I'm so tired, Aunt Glenda. It's yeah. a lot of work eating, huh? Yeah, and mm -hmm. sleeping. Oh, it's rough him. Now these are those his little pants. Those are self-warming mats. Oh, self the, my, yeah. They have they they reflect his body heat back up to him. Oh, that's right. So because cats are originally desert animals and they like to be warm. So what is that little orange thing? That it's got three oh. balls in it. Oh, okay. And he sits, sits there and actually moves it around the room oh. and hits the balls around. Look it's at his little toys. Oh, those are your little toys. Look, he's a lot. <laughs> He's got a lamb and an alligator and a pumpkin Aww, and mice and I just got him that banana over there. <gasps> you got a banana. <laughs> and he's got a bouncy mouse on the banister there. That's mm -hmm. the mouse is so cute. And a fish. She ripped <laughs> one of the fins off the other day, so I ripped the other one off because I didn't want him to I mean he's not a dog, but he probably wouldn't eat it, but still. Right, Sim? Okay, so I want your mommy to tell us about your feeding dish. I've never heard of a, a dish like this. <clears throat> so it's called... <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> you get, get your pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Simba. Get your pumpkin. Where'd you go? Get it. Get it before it gets you. <laughs> uh oh! Why'd you leave it down there? You can go get carry. your pumpkin. You go get carry. your pumpkin. You didn't carry it in your mouth. You carry that heavy cactus in your mouth. He's activated now. The silver line activated his zoomy. Where's your pumpkin? Where'd it go? What happened to it? Did it get away? Come on, Samba. Go get your pumpkin. Come. Use your pumpkin. Oh, it's right there on the steps. Oh, there's your pumpkin. Let me get out of your way. Come on, put on the show for us. <gasps> You're such a pretty boy. Yes, you are a pretty boy. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Does he normally bring it back up the stairs? Eventually, yeah. yeah. He'll remember and he'll pick it up and run back up there. Like he'll jump up the stairs in his mouth like Superman. Oh, he sees imaginary bugs sometimes. Or ghosts. They say cats can see spirits. When he stares up the stairs, it really creeps me out. Come on, get Come your on, pumpkin. Sam, bring your pumpkin back up here. Mommy wants your pumpkin. <laughs> He's so cooperative. Now, did you actually put this stuff no, in? No, it came it? in. Okay. The, it came in fused. It had a pocket in the back, and uh -huh. I bought silver wine, and I stuffed it in the back oh, I see. pocket. 
So when it fades out, I'll put some more in there. So I told you I bought him a mouse in the supermarket, and I gave it to him, and he went crazy. And I thought, he loves this mouse. And then <laughs> read the package, I was like, oh. <laughs> now I get it. Because catnip, he would eat it and just walk away. I've given so much catnip away, it's not funny. Increasingly potent strains of catnip, nothing. But the silver vine, as you can see, mm -hmm. inspires him. You exhausted now? You need a nap? You need a nap, Sim? <laughs> okay, I want you to tell oh. our subscribers about this cat dish. So if you have a cat, cat dish, you mm -hmm. have a cat, that dish is designed to prevent whisker stress, which happens when a cat puts his, his or her face in a bowl and the bowl touches their whiskers, which are very sensitive, and it just it hurts. It actually hurts them. So if they if you get them a a bowl shaped like that, which is actually actually Jackson Galaxy's Eclipse bowl, which is out of stock on his site, but you can get it on Amazon and other places. And they don't have they don't then their whiskers don't touch the dish, and they're more comfortable when they're eating. Mm -hmm. So if you want your cat to be comfortable, get a whisker free stress free bowl. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon and put the link. I'll put the link, yeah. yeah. They're stainless steel, and they look like little surfboards. Mm -hmm. And he was scared of it at first, but he loves it. So be nice to your kitty and get your kitty a, a whisker stress-free dish. So talk about the whisker. That oh, you each whisker is in a pool of blood on their face, and it senses temperature and wind direction. And when, it, when prey is coming at the cat, um, cats are nearsighted, which is hilarious. And when the prey is coming towards them, they can't see it anymore, so they move all their whiskers into a cone so to protect from getting bitten by what they're going to eat. And then when the mouse touches their whiskers, they grab it and they kill it. And mm -hmm. whiskers fall out, and behind you, Glenda, is a frame with all his whiskers that have fallen out, that round frame there. I've, it's a, a floating frame, and I've framed all his whiskers oh my I, goodness that i found i found 14 i think <gasps> look at that they're so cool they sure are and every once in a while i go hey i haven't found a whisker in a while and then the next day i'll find a whisker on the oh, tree that is so cute aren't they adorable mm -hmm. i got little stickers cat stickers to put them in there <laughs> get so the pictures the of him co yeah collection mm -hmm. whisker co whisper collection mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, well, thank you for explaining that. Oh, um, I appreciate it. I never knew all of that. Neither did I until I saw a Jackson Galaxy's video about <laughs> whisker stress. And I was like, oh, no, not that. Okay, so I think this is going to be the end of the video. But um, I wanted to thank Susan for inviting me over today. And we did have a wonderful lunch at Outback Steakhouse. We had filet mignon. Um I didn't videotape it because I wanted us to just enjoy our lunch. And we did. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. We did. Um, so thank you all for being here today. And y'all please leave some comments for Susan and for Simba. He's the star of the show. He is. <laughs> Bye, Simba. Bye, Sim. Oh, look, he looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys. <laughs>